introduction. So going back to the COVID, COVID is simple that this is the early days, the early days when you can see COVID was spreading. And at that time, we, Hong Kong has been that's low in the rise to, for COVID. So it's slow to spread. And what happened is that you know that now the Omic when the Omicron come in this early this year, this was a very different virus. So much so, so much so that the, uh, the you can see the red dots here are all those uh, changed <coughs> in the spike uh, antigens and the change was particularly rapid in, in Omicron, so much so it turned our immunity down. We cannot fight it. And this was by Professor Gabriel, and you can see that most of them in Hong Kong uh, were poor because of the immigrants. And to, to, to just to let the remark that the deaths were in, at the start very much uh, uh, alarming, and yet when the deaths coming down, the Omicron come in. What happened now is that we are also at a lot of Chinese medicine studies, and you know, can see that this is from the WHO. And initially, there was a lot still now going on. These are, these are registered studies. And we talk, if you talk about Chinese medicine in combating COVID, we really have to talk on all these. So, uh, give me about three hours. How about, how about that? All right, <laughs> and simply said that uh, we are having so many things to cover, and I won't cover today. What happened is that when I started this lecture, I was so not thrilled but uh, agitated. So today my heart still palpitates, but you can relax. All right, this is the whole idea. That these are the two main, two main names that started the COVID comeback in Chinese medicine in China. And you know that to come back in China, in the whole, whole world, the whole world has noted that the pneumonia is, uh, were not necessarily there and until one fi fine moment in a patient, they suddenly had a, a storm. And, and so much so that it becomes uh, the severe diseases. And the severe disease, when, in, 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 uh, 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 when severe, would cause somebody to go into ICU. This is a very good slide. I think what happened is that uh, it shows the uh, inflammation. When it comes into hyperinflammation, that is a different game, right? So not virus, but the virus change in the body. The body change and the hyperinflammation, inflammation, and the whole thing stretch into the worst stage. And you can see downstairs that the antiviral drugs and immunosuppression and reduced infection are the mainstay in Western medicine. What happened in Chinese medicine is called down there, and you, we call it Wei Wei Qi Ying Xue. Okay, and what Chinese medicine is different is that if you look at the whole body in the environment. The environment is called the outer big environment, and therefore they have two words called the wang yi sheng hong, meaning whatever infection is infection of the climate itself, right? Of course, we carry, of course, viruses and bacteria, and you heard about the feng huang, xu sub chou fo, and the, the diagram of climate is much more complicated than what I'm not going to be there today. And so in the early days, it started with what we so called is called the Hon Sop Huan. And but yet in the days, in the early days there, you can see that the, the big masters in Chinese medicine they give a lot of different names, different, I would say, connotations. You know, the way that the body reacts, so it's kind of confusing. But and in fact you can see that a lot of medicine lot of different formulae, the Chinese medicine formulae come in, in this game. What finally, whatever, we have a few winners, Qing Fai Fai Pai Dou Tong of Tong Siu Lang, and the other, uh, uh, you heard about the Ling Fa and Fok Peng and Kang Fa. Then, like maybe I, I diverse a bit on the what actually we are doing in Chinese medicine. Chinese medicine is what we call heat diseases, right? Heat is inflammation, whatever. And it starts with this called in the Hang Dynasty, 
the early dynasty when it's called Sermon, that was about 2,000 years ago. And then, and come into the later in Qing dynasty, not too long ago, uh, the one Bang Ho. And the two things are most important things you can see, they are called different Wai He in Yu and the Biu Lai. Uh, they are different, a uh, lot of, and in fact, it also may confuse even Chinese practitioners. But simply, it's a Biu outside, in, and out. And you can see here, it's a more complicated slide, but make it simple. That what happened is that the Shang Chang Hongren here, that the French the the yang, the, the, the warm part and the yin, the the, uh, the the colder part, and uh, the, it's different differentiate in the different syndromes depending on how the body reacts. But what happened is that although the two uh, 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 changes and 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 concepts are seems to be different. In fact, it's, you can see this is uh, the later one band, the endemic febrile disease treatise is looking and expanded the, the, this part into more greater depth. So whatever it means, they are two the things to uh, so We are now using most of the later of what we call white hay. And this is the COVID when it comes into the whole body, it reacts the whole body different condition. Whether it's the characteristic of the disease or the height and how whether this complete or repeat or whether this is in and out. And so it seems that's the way to look at the whole part of physiology. So finally, you can see that we interpreted it as uh, uh, usually the sun, the humid disorder. Humid is, I would usually, usually look at the simple term for people who can't stand the humid change of life to be very differently and poorly. And when it comes in, there is a lot of combination and the virus and the human health. So like uh, Western medicine also do that. The difference here is that you can see while well, Western medicine use one medicine to treat everybody, or, or at least have a, a, a soft and a soft food. But sometimes it's time to reach one medicine for one person. And so there was a kind of advantage to use one form of biopower. And it started early in people in our community. You can see this as uh, our general. <coughs> And down there you can see the Professor Lin, the Chinese medicine, and parent now here and on the end, right? And there was already started to hear. The use of Chinese medicine is much more expanded now with Zheng Huang Lai. We probably heard about that, the Chinese medicine uh, expert in China. And he worked out all those ingredients and what happened represented the Dai Wong, the Wong Sam, and uh, uh, Gam Chou, and Ma Wong, and Lin Kiu. And all those things happened, but whatever the complication is, WHO finally revealed the whole thing and a lot of, uh, revealed a lot of trials and uh, the, the, the also from the clinical and also case reports and also the drug and the whole concept, whatever. And they find that the, the TCM helped alleviate symptoms, shortened the time of positive to negative conversion, and reduced worsening rate of uh, uh, non dyslexia. That is to say, it doesn't worsen, that it comes to stage three. Then it reduced the mortality and reduced the duration of uh, ICU care. And so finally, with uh, Hong Kong, the changes in you know, Western medicine, the Hong Kong people uh, asked Dong Xiu Long, and, and this is Dong Xiu Long, this is Zhang uh, Dak Zhong, uh, who come down to uh, the Hong Kong to help the, the COVID, right? Dong Xiu Long and Zhang Dak Zhong and, and his team. Of course, this is not only the, 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 their work, Hong Kong U also worked on this, and this was a paper who tried to reveal all the matrices. It's very complicated, but simply they, they worked on uh, various aspects to look at it. And uh, it, again, to look at uh, all more important, the, the, the usual forms, Ching Fai Fai of Tong, which shortened stay, and with the Fai metal of Huang uh, uh, Dong. 
to be used to a, 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 a negative change in negative time and the infant how it affect the CD changes and simply is useful so what happened is in the germ block like is uh, germ block like it, it even map the whole other a lot of other medicine formulas used and all those things that find it very common to list to make sure that it's make a lot of things that that are useful to, for uh, strengthening the conviction that the TCM uh, is useful for mild stage, moderate stage, or severe or critical stages. And there are some of, of course early stages that work on what it is you acting, the on acting on viral applications, viral DNA, whatever you name, and they try to find and this and that and how they useful. So it prevents all those things and is coming up. Just to make sure that it's more simple for you to understand. This is the simple slide but jump or light. I try to make it even simpler. Is you can see that the, uh, up there the die I uh, die wall. The eye wall and gum to start with it out before the virus come in to the cell. And then again the die wall. What we probably know that by now gun we are so used to and the wong some wong some uh, or fight in the cell itself. And so simply again Chinese medicine give a different perspective. The perspective is so different that there were at one time when they started uh, people in Chinese medicine work with a formula that depends not what you're, you're looking at but the mathematics of Chinese calendar. You got my point? Just the time itself you know which is what you check, what you treat. So, so that's not, but as I said, this is climbing. So really look at the whole entry from, from, from top to down. This is a Western journal. And you can see that uh, the West Chinese medicine also look at this, but not as in such detail. Uh, the, the, to start with, is called the Wai in this outer, outer part of the outer side of the body at the cells. And it all come into the inner side when they call it hay, right? And these are the why hay, the tongs that until you everybody know, and song got young, you probably know. And then long afterwards, and they come in, in more deeper, call the yin fun and the bit fun. So uh, again, you probably can see that this is the virus which is encapsulated by uh, the lipid of uh, the cell, the endo. The plasmic reticulum and it entered the cell with uh, a, a, a lot of and the, 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 the blue parts are the what you need to read uh, like the what it uh, act on the move of cholesterol and lipids to double membrane the virus vesicle or uh, the alveolar this, this squamation is due to this uh, adhesion and other things and they come into innate uh, immunity so what happened is that uh, the, the, the virus come in uh, at, in the white, the hay stage, and it affect the white cells. The white cells, and you can see, use what is a common this pneumonia Chinese medicine formula. This is a very common Chinese medicine formula for pneumonia, whatever pneumonia, like uh, Hang Se Kam Tong, okay? And it clear that the Qing Fai Pai Tong is also in this regard. And it, when it go in more deeper, then it's a different game because it affects the brain. The, 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 the blood vessels begin to leak, and uh, because of the albumin also leak out, and the, the changes in some fun, sit, gong, and the changes all in a systemic way. And this, what happened is that there is a, a lot of things that happen in the playlist or whatever, the tight junction or whatever, and it in, enter into the, the brain. This is, of course, the stage which is severe and in the ICU. And you can see how the blood vessels actually leak. And so it's both leaking and clotting problems in, in that stage. Now, when it goes further, it will cause a uh, 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 this coagulation is in uh, also papers in the Western medicine which cause the red cells, the red cell, the red blood cells.
of this family they try to stop the <coughs> immunity by the red cells and the red cells this is how to see the craziness and simply this is a simple simplified slide so that okay, you can see that then to start with this is that the far where do you ask it this is actually acting on the first two stages the second two stages this is not good enough so just people who ask me you know, it coming in the first stage look at it use use you can use it now this is of course in the orthodox thinking but in fact you look at it the whole thing is that how the why hey and into the entire game which you mentioned and the, 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 in fact a lot of simply steps in or stages in the development of the disease now what we have the, 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 the number of uh, um, <coughs> drugs here in the combinations are as i said uh, the single five microphone was the first was the first used Chinese formula by Dong Xiulang in the China. And this was so successful. It started with what it, we could use also in common drugs. And then in fact, started much earlier in the days of SARS. It was meant for SARS and, and then the usual flus. Now, the Ching Fai Tong was a combination that was used. And you can see again here, this is the combination of method. The, the, sorry. The, 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 the traditional orthodox combinations and they combine these combinations into one Ching Fei Tong and you can see again this Ma Hang Second Tong for pneumonia all right now of course all those things are just for your information history and if you come to a patient of course you treat it as an expert you don't use just the, the, the medicine the expert would use a lot more differently Depend on stage, depend on, on the what is it affecting and what it has affected. So it, it, you look at the whole thing and it's kind of clear that your own poor conception to say the Chinese medicine does treat symptoms because they have thinking inside of them. So the, what, what, what I'd like to point to you that we start with being the analytical differentiator of syndrome, and the most of course important is the tongue. Diagnosis and the pulse diagnosis, and uh, uh, these are the points uh, that people have known how Western medicine uh, are looking at uh, in terms of how once you see have these indicators, go for watch it. Now, of course, tongue pulse diagnosis is different, difficult or different, uh, difficult for you maybe. Right? But like I like to share with you a bit and see if you can appreciate. What uh, happened is that uh, if you have, um, these are the stages which painted on, and to start with the, the heat stage is, you can see a coat, and the coat then changes and whatever. But one thing, first of all, I like to share or stress is that the bowel motions is particularly important to prevent late stages of development. Right? So ask always the bowel motions. But talking about tongue and uh, pulse, you might not understand the pulse, but the tongue may be useful if you follow a bit. Now, first of all, this is the tongue, early tongue, right? The early tongue, and you can note that uh, when it comes into uh, more humid changes, whatever the uh, body is not reacting well, then it becomes a bit different, right? And you can hopefully appreciate how it is different. The worst tongue and the tongue become but purplish. Purplish that means coagulative issues, right? And then after this, then you can look at the well, whether how furry or how strongly uh, uh, spiky coated. And you can see with these words that is even like this. Okay, so this is a child. Two, two children, two children, three younger children. And you can see that the tongue is not normal if you have seen enough, right? But to me, to you, you might see it. So, but you look at this, this a, 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 a tongue like this is certainly not normal. You're talking about even the uh, raw part of it. This younger child uh, has a raw tongue. 
wrong and a bit perverse too. The tongue, if you look in a lot of children, they don't get wrong. And so this is what we call young hui fai. Yi. Cut all this. You start with kui hon, kui chen, clear the infection, whether it's in the upper, middle, or lower. All right? And there are a lot of medicine used and a way of diagnosis. The next thing you need to do is to fu ting, to make sure the body can react strongly, well. And the, of course, it's called hei, yang, and yang. Right, the qi and the yin and the yang. And again, there are medicine for that. The last thing is that you have to treat the body depending on how it progress and what. But one thing I'd like to use is this, uh, 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 I would say newly developed by myself, of framing the body. We look at diseases, all right, but we have to look at the body as well. We look at diseases as is it local or general. Okay, but we also have to look at the body by its body state and what elab whatever elaborate changes it, or, or we call uh, the features difference. And the body state and Chinese medicine is mostly called the tendencies and the syndrome of diagnosis. But once you spread on this, this is called injury. You might use an analogy, and you can. This is an analogical way point rather than real. Or it might be toxic or polluted, maybe a general disease. But when the when the body state is ruined, is more wrecked, and when this kind of the features are adhesive or whatever deranged, is a corrupt kind of. So the Chinese saying is called "sheng dou chan lin." All right. What happens is that if you describe something less, then you tend to well not as good. That is to say, if your body is wrecked to start with, you got COVID. What happened? You can expect, but you just say COVID without talking where the child, the body already is right. You're losing something else. So start with that. So maybe well, body, I, I don't use ABC or call gum. You can think just make sure you this is a paradigm you remember. It will, it will come in later and come back. Now this is a kind of simple case illustration. So whatever it meant, okay. Now if you treat, there are called something called rebound phenomena. The, the, the recent uh, uh, U.S. president had it, and the wife too. They rebound. The re what happened to this? They had a lot of re like, uh, we, we, we tried to make a lot of uh, ways to answer what happened. But I answered it differently. We treat the body to start with the depend on the, the early so meaning to so always what happened, and we treat the illness when it become a cell and talk, whatever. When it the, when it's worse than when the patient has been wrecked and crop. You have to check it, check treat it too. Else they may rebound. Look at the US president, you know what I mean. All right? The last two words. I don't want to speak it that loud, all right? Otherwise be sued. Okay. <clears throat> and so you look at the Chong Cheng again. Uh, 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 we, these are the, uh, uh, the warning indicators in Western medicine. Look, I don't read all those things. But tongue. Uh, uh, looking at the wreck state will help. And we've been uh, looking again in the WHO review, you can see that the patients can be shortened in time from positive to negative and reduce the worsening of states. And the motor inability and the promotion of psychological recovery also helps. And most importantly, it, uh, the studies reveal that the, there's a good safety profile who's using TCM. There are a lot of studies also to say that the use of integrated Chinese and Western medicine is much better than simply Western medicine alone. Okay, you can understand what I'm saying because what the, you are treating also the body itself, not only the illness. Now, it depends on how fast you clear the, the infection, isn't it? Right? And there are a lot of studies now to say that even this, even if you can find a virus even in the stools too. So we now come to the, what we call the long COVID, which is a very difficult uh, uh, defined, well, not well defined uh, subject. And whatever, whether it's the patient may be poor, old, poor, and uh, uh, morbid and more severe, whatever, think about this, that even those with poor support, right, the elderly, they probably can, can have more long COVID. But I'd like to go further to see. Now the long COVID risk factors are 
now is quite, I think, quite sure now. The more severe acute cases to start with, the more likely they have long COVID. Right? Then there is a lot of associated with things of the age, the same age, the same for that. They are just not so sure. Right? They're talking about obesity, of course, not the wreck state I mentioned. You know, nobody started that. Uh, interesting for me is that the pre existence of asthma as a significant association with long COVID. That's very odd. What? Because we well, will come up. Now, the long COVID is a combination of disorders. And it was demonstrated that the, in these days, the immune, the, uh, inflammation aspects, they cause antibodies and demonstrable that the antibody, uh, the ACE, which is now the average, was reduced the antibody, antibody. And it's a dysregulated immune disorder. Organ in, in injuries or whatever come in and virus or procedures. Simply say, go back to the ACE receptors. The virus go into two receptors. The ACE receptor and the TMPR SS2. Uh, ACE we know, but uh, we start looking at the ACE, you can see that the, the ACE come in to the receptor loss and what the plasma ACE changes and, and the brain also have ACE receptors and then whatever it comes in there over there. So it's all so the brain, the hypertension, the good inflammation, things you can, whatever you like to count in it also. The diabetes and other things, the, the changes in endocrine functions are all kind of also rich, rich because they're rich in ACA they're related. Okay, well, that's the long COVID. I think there are two things. One is the respiratory problem. One is the other problems. The respiratory problem, like there, there are a, 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 a research like in three, six, nine, twelve months, you can see that there's some improvement in the uh, BC, LCO, and the uh, FEV, right? And, and the walking distance in time uh, get a bit, but not everybody. Now, this is another study which shows that, another study which shows that the, the, the DC, CO, the LCO, which actually meant for the diffusion capacity of carbon monoxide, right? Is not okay long after COVID, although the FEV get not so bad, right? The FEV is related to asthma. Do you remember my song about asthma? Now, the DCL is related to parenchyma, lung parenchyma. The lung parenchyma is more deranged. So I see long COVID I, myself, and I, I'm sorry to say that, that long COVID doesn't mean anything to me. For the long COVID patient come in, I treat it, it got well. So I don't have long COVID patients. But there are two, two things I said. If they have lung problems, they tend to stay. They tend to stay. There's a real damage, right? But for the rest, it's reaction. So you treat it, it get well. So I, I think that this should be different, right? So the reactions and the bodies has been done and all to all in the body and whatever has been done and they can see that the lymphocytes whatever have a lot of changes and they don't go back come back easily sorry right simply said this is a small slide but you can read it out is that the, the immune dysfunction dysregulation also immunity and the virus persistence all come in and also the guts there, which is related to immunity and other things, also can come in. The gut microbiome, viral toxicity, inflammation, thrombosis, and vasculitis, and autoimmune response cause this whole picture. And the thrombosis coming is a kind of long COVID depends on how severe the stage stage to start. And also the chronic inflammation and the lung <coughs> and the can come in. Uh, wrapping the virus, come in with the whatever come, uh, and then you can see that then it affects the blood vessel and vascular disorders. Again, I like to point out again the two, the two ACE2 and the TMPR uh, S2 receptors also in the vascular. So sim so interesting. Now. Another thing is, of course, the reduction in global brain size, which we are more uh, 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 would be more keen at. The brain is certainly some brain problem, and, and it even can shrink the brain. So the part that shrink seems to be more significantly in 
are those are that are related to the nose, uh, the, the olfactory areas, and well, you know that, that there are uh, 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 a direct link between my <coughs> uh, neurons. Now go come back to what we are talking about this slide. So again, when this is having the disease is affected because of what we call the four factors. And these four factors I mean, can cause memory loss, hair loss, poor vision, and of course, down there, when it's wrecked and corrupt, of course, it can have effect. So far, you can see that Western medicine can do a lot of things, but the ones those down below, what can we do except Chinese medicine? So there are two things in there. So let's go into children. Children, you can see that this was a trend. And what happened in the uh, US state, you can see that uh, it's more or less the same uh, percentage, but with the Omicron, it's kind of worse of, of the numbers. Notably, treating children with viral pneumonias is uh, as a with use of Chinese medicine. Chinese medicine, this is where we we use, okay, not bacteria, of course. And and of course, you know, whatever, yeah. but it's my, my, we hear, he will be listening to, you know, that he was stressing the multi, the MI, let's see, the multi systemic inflammation syndrome. Remember, we talked about inflammation with Chinese medicine? So we are there. That is is uh, uh, characterized uh, uh, by those especially that the younger, the, the more it is come, it comes in. When you talk about recovery, there are two things. One is called Qi. And the chi we call a yihui. You heard about it, 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 all these. And of just the one man, one thing mentioned is although of yang, some may be tong is useful, and some is better not used in children because uh, it, it, is, it, is, it is too too or whatever. And use tidy some, okay. <coughs> the other is yang hui. Yang hui is uh, 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 I show you about how the tongue got raw and dry, and, the, and the, it hurts, not just being dry. Being dry because inflammation. And we use what we call, read it clearly, it's called sa sam ba tong tong. The tong is, it is in Chinese, really. right? And it can help the T1, T2 <coughs> uh, balances. And so even eczema can be used. So these are the ways that it, how it's been studied, how the, each of the herbs I mentioned, Tai Chi Sum, the Bak Sui, Wong Kei, being useful, and Bak Dong, Bak Sao, Tin Dong, whatever. Now, after this, we're talking uh, 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 what we call means. But the concept is we have treatment. When you treat, you treat if, if whether the, the, the patient is hoi sat on it. Whether it's a deplete, replete, cold, or hot. And of course, you use those things, but mind you, we thought B jump is very useful, but B jump is chow. And I, I always say that if you know nutrition, you don't know Western medicine, but you don't know Chinese medicine, you don't know on the other side. So up to you, all right? I don't use it. You know, this is inflammation, even eczema too. And <clears throat> when it's inflammation, first off. And then you talk about guy how of course the bok bang for all for no way. Okay? And of course is some yin the smoking. And <clears throat> they are also talk about the brain fog. The brain fog is a very difficult thing. We have had a lecture by the Hong Yu professor in neurology and this this is given a lot of things but it's not really totally clear what it meant. And, but simply it related to sleep deprivation similar to uh, people with depression, anxiety, and even after menopause. What it means is that it is a kind of common reaction, but worse with flu, worse, even worse with COVID. So I think what happened is that, I'm uh, sorry, I think eh? what happened is that they have not done this in the study. They have not done this previous body stage unchecked. So you check whether they have done a lot of computer games or sleep inadequacy. It might turn into a different perspective. This is why I, I was always enthused about uh, 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 research. They know more, they get more. Uh, junk food, junk food, okay? Maybe not. Maybe not. Right. 
So they are they're looking at the diet quality and the, even how bad the, the patient was uh, uh, and so forth, and they find some relevance. And one study early was that if you take good diet, Mediterranean diet, Western stuff, right, uh, it's get less COVID, less severe COVID, right? Believe it or not, okay, but something like that. And Chinese medicine uh, in uh, Chinese U also did uh, uh, a study, uh, they lent me the slide, Dr. Professor Lin, but simply said, you can see it in the Lokwan Zi Tong and Hap, Sa Song Mak Tong Tong, I read it aloud. And again, you can expect that it get better, uh, they all, all the symptoms get better, and whatever, and the other things. So that's, that's trying to show you whatever I have. Now, if you use, therefore, Chinese and Western medicine alone, then you can give a good outcome by strategy. What about G6PD? I got a patient here who was consulted me by uh, uh, remotely, and this was from uh, uh, a good professor in Chinese medicine. He said, I got told the child, uh, uh, some 10 year old, there's, there's this what, uh, cough and voice lost, and uh, is that all? But five fever, yeah, that's right. I said, okay, ask me. So I said, okay, let me try. He's, you know, there's GCPD, I know. Let me try, okay. But I asked him, how about bowel motions? Okay, and then I give a medicine here, and seems okay to recover. In fact, G6PD is not out of a, a, a treatment, only how you know how much about it. And really, how common is long COVID is a different, diff, difficult question. But I think the consequences of the COVID is more should be looked at. So the more severe the disease, the more worse the outcome. It, in, it like an injury, okay? It's like the injury, it changed the, the startings, toxicity, inflammation, vasculitis, autoimmune, and the gut. And it comes into the time, the memory loss, and the immunity changes, and the virus may persist with remnants, and the inflammation comes in, and even affect the nose and into the blood. But when it, you can see that the uh, uh, Chinese medicine can help all those things, and in fact also help the, also the immunity there. And I come to the even what here uh, uh, about the, the social dilemma. If you have a lot of children, it's you can see that the body burden, if it's not wrecked, not corrupt, and also the autonomic dysfunction is better, then all those burden would be decreased. Not to count the the uh, all those things, but you can fight it easier. Okay, that's what I'm trying to say. So here uh, we have also the, last, the last second line, which is four. This is on one sheet. Then we have done this is me myself. And this is a uh, Ling Zhong you have, you probably can see. We use <coughs> the Yoping Feng Sang and the Song Gok Yang. You remember the Song Gok Yang with the Ling Kim Sang. And here, that we use it and it can be whatever it helps, right? You know, and these are the things that we say why it helps, okay? Now, my way, my proposal, and this is my how to buy my Logan, is to use Feng Dong Ji, right? This is a good way to think about it. Feng is simple, prevention. Treat G, easy. But Dong is when you have people who have been contacted, those nurses who have been running around in HA, I think this is the way. Of course, at that time, people used uh, uh, the thing one because it's only available. I have other things milder, and it works, okay? And uh, uh, form also can be do it done that way. So what happened is that the, when you have a contact, you Dong rather than just form. Okay, and then you treat on by by the by the uh, uh, blocking the spikes in. The lymph has been proven in a way by a lot of state sets uh, uh, as what studies to say this can help treatment also and in prevention, right? Mind you, um, okay. if you don't know the the, the constitution and the ideology, I think this is not just using. And as a good review by one of our doctors, he's now getting into Singapore, become the director of Chinese medicine there. And he, she used 
to get this kind of uh, laid out and uh, it, it is a suggestion. But simply, this is the way to use it. The way to use it. And if you are having a better, you can consider it. If you have a, you have a GI not too good, and if you are older, don't use it. Don't let up. No, if you are older, right? Not this. Okay. Do is too old, right? Right. Okay. But uh, the, the thing is that they have it, 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 side effects, they can listen, or whatever. The most important thing for for them, you know, is you can affect the, the liver, all right? And the gum fun is less but strong, but of course, uh, it also has some other things like hypertension and other things. All these just point out that you need to be assessed before you use it. And uh, the, or more importantly, is the children and pregnant women and those who are kind of <coughs> immune trying to be careful. These are the things that we've been using, trying to do, and it's a good suggestion to use something that is easy to, for prevention and easy to be used for total care. This is the last thing to say, Hong from Longji. The, the whole Chinese medicine and the Western medicine, how much this is used and where to use it. And this is the WHO, the WHO uh, as a demonstration of when to use it and other things which I'm not going to talk. So simply, this is my presentation. I hope I don't bother you with a lot of details, but trying to give you some skimmy of the things that we consider in the use of medical strategy in prevention, blocking, and treating COVID. Thank you. Thank you.